clear in the minds of the sponsors of the anti-LGBTQ bill currently in Parliament that it was due for passage on Thursday. The Speaker walked in fully prepared to commence the process after the House had exhausted the consideration stage of the bill. The Deputy Majority Leader Alexander Penyomarkin surprisingly introduced reservations on aspects of the bill that imposes a prison sentencing. Mr. Speaker, the issue before us is behavioral. And it is my humble view that in dealing with behavioral matters, incarceration, incarceration is not a solution. It makes the matter worse. That our court system should introduce a more humane, reformative, rehabilitative system where people who breach our laws, who sin against our legislation, would have an opportunity to reform and be reintegrated. The deputy leader then properly filed an official motion seeking to have another round of a second reading of the bill. Without reservation, that this motion does not stem from any opposition to the bill in and by itself. But conversely, I wholeheartedly endorse the guiding principles and goals that inform this legislation. Nevertheless, Mr. Speaker, like I said, and for emphasis, I strongly hold the conviction that the integration of community service as an alternative to incarceration will substantially bolster the efficacy and compassion of our judicial system. A position the NDC minority MPs did not oppose. Colleagues are already in agreement for a second consideration stage. So we can do that. But his argument that we should go back and reconsider something that he brought up, considered and voted upon, I think is an abuse of Order 171 and should not be tolerated. Moments thereafter, the chairman of the Constitutional, Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee, Kwame Nyimedu Entry, walked in wanting to arrest the next stage of the bill that could see to it being passed. As the chairman of the committee, I don't have a copy of the corrected version. What we are considering now, and the committee have not been served with any notice. And the uh, committee honorable, hasn't honorable, met honorable, on this. You, in particular, drew my attention someday to the reaction of your constituents when you got to your constituency concerning the delay of these matters. And it affects me myself as I move around. As the speaker, it came to the extent that people thought I, as speaker, was rather delaying the business. Eventually was shot down by the House. Plus four, which deals with the offenses under this bill. That is a person who is lesbian, who is gay, who is transgender, transsexual, queer, pansexual, ally, or non binary. We have said to the judge, you can impose a fine of not less than 750 penalty units if the judge so considers the circumstances and evidence before them. Those in support of the proposed amendment to clause 4 as submitted by the deputy majority leader say aye those against say no no the no's have it the proposed amendment is negated